Hey guys, I'm back. Time to jump into more of Pokemon Yellow by continuing our quest and going to Mount Moon. Anyway, as you know, we have already picked up the Boulder Badge. In order to get to Cerulean City, where our next badge is, we need to make our way to Mount Moon. So, let's go. Yeah, this route is filled with trainers, which is a good thing because my Pokemon can certainly use the leveling. Especially Loki, or as my friend Yami calls him, Loki Chu. Which, I, by the way, I found absolutely adorable when he called him that. So I guess I will probably be using Loki Chu for the most of the duration of my LP. Go, Loki Chu! Ah, uh, no, that was a bad move. Eat Thunder Shock. You're the one who challenged me. I'm not mean, you're mean. Okay, where did you meet me in the Viridian Forest? Don't really recall you. All your bug catchers look the same. Quick attack! Shouldn't you be a Butterfree by now? Seriously. Why would you keep him a Caterpie? Butterfree is so much better. <sighs> Game logic. Whoa, frame rate lag. Yeah, for those who are interested, I'm playing this on an emulator, so there's going to be the occasional frame rate lag. And how do you have a Weedle? You can't even catch that in the Viridian Forest. Bug Catcher hacks the game! Must have had a game shark or something. No. Well, yeah, you won't let your Pokemon evolve. I mean, seriously, but they should both been a bee drill and a butterfree. Should slow you down a bit there. Well, not really, apparently. Yeah, moves like um, Stun Spore and Thunder Wave can, s if they were to actually paralyze a Pokemon, it, it cuts their speed in half. And the same with Burns. If your Pokemon gets burned, it cuts their attack stat in half. Double team. Yeah, why not? Tail Whip's not that great. I'll keep Loki Chew in. Don't poison, don't poison, don't poison. Oh, phew. I'll take a critical hit over poison. Poisoning moves causes your Pokemon to steadily lose um, health in the battle as well as on the field. And moves like Toxic, 
which we'll see later on, are especially evil. Well, when they're inflicted on you. Yeah, I'm a trainer. Didn't you see the Pikachu behind me? Eh, more bug catchers. Game hack. You can't catch Weedle. Yeah, if you had, if you let your Pokemon evolve, you could have won. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to Pewter City and heal Loki Chew. I want to save my potions for when I trek to trek over Mount Moon. How are you feeling, Pikachu? Moderate happiness. Okay, time to head back out. I forget which route this is. Hold on, I'm gonna check my town map. Route 3. Okay, so back out to Route 3. It's been a while since I've trekked through Kanto. And the region that we're traveling through is the Kanto region. For those who are interested, I do intend to play through many as many generations as I can. So yes, I'll be having LPs for Johto and Honan. And Shinon and Anova, I believe it's enunciated. I'm most likely butchering the names. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'll take paralysis. And it's your turn, Saitel. Ooh, a need ran on a need ran. My need ran is better. Leer. Moves like um, Leer and Tail Whip lower defenses. Which is pretty good early on in the game, but they kind of just lose their effectiveness later on. One hit KO, I'll take that. But you challenged me! <sighs> anyway. Switch. Saitel's turn. <laughs> Cute animation. Cute animation. Pikachu is happy for a victory, finally. Or maybe he's just happy for leveling up. That, too. That's probably it.
Oh, ow. Man. That's taking off a lot of health. Of course, it is a level 14 Spiro. <gasps> yeah! Hello, Nieder Nieder Nino. <laughs> Cute animation. Anyway, I guess I'll head back to Pewter. <laughs> Heal Cytella up this time. Of course, he won't be a Nidor Nino. Ne yeah, oof, never mind. He's not going to be in that evolved state for very long. I'll take my friend's, my friend's advice and evolve him as soon as possible. Most of the moves he learns later on are not even that useful, so... And the moves I intend to teach him are going to be TM-based, so... You shall be seeing his next evolutionary form soon. You're a bug catcher. How can you possibly have new Pokemon? There's not very many bugs in this game. And why is that not a Butterfree? You want new Pokemon? Evolve them! <sighs> Sorry, the game logic early on in this game just infuriates me. It's a metapod, but it's a level 11 metapod. Pretty sure they evolve at level 10. No comment. Anyway, um, a bit of trivia. Out in this patch of grass here, you can catch a very rare Pokemon, that being Jigglypuff. This is the only place you can actually catch them in Gen 1. But I'm not going to be catching one, because I don't have a use for it, so... On to our next battle. Uh, no, I did not. Uh... Some of these NPCs and tam- er, <laughs> no, not tamers. Trainers. Some very weird comments. Eat double kick. Ha ha ha. Okay, Loki Chew, it's your turn now. Uh, actually, yeah, it's Lucky Chew's turn. And I think that's the last of the trainers on this route. Our next destination is Mount Moon. Yeah, that's just a random NPC. And another NPC.
No, because I can randomly catch them with the old rod. But no, thank you. I mean, yeah, it becomes Gyarados, but not that useful. Anyway, um, I'm gonna call the video here. Yeah, I could probably record some more, but my last video I had some serious sound synchronization issues, and the only thing I did differently was record more footage than I usually do. So, I'm just going to record some le less footage and see whether or not that actually solves my s sound synchronization issues. Other than that, I hope everybody enjoys this, and I shall see you in the next video.